Hello everyone, this is Mark and I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to make your Windows 7 copy genuine, Windows 7 Ultimate. Now, the reason why this comes up is because you may be using automatic updates for Windows 7 or any other copy of Windows. Now, the reason why Windows updates is to update your security patches and things like that. Security patches are, well, what they sound like. Security patches actually patch the Windows 7 or Windows XP or Windows Vista and actually checks to make sure that you have a copy or a validated copy of Windows uh, software. If you do not, this sign Windows Genuine will come up and say that this copy is not genuine. So what will happen is what you need to do is download a software called Driver Genius Pro and I'll give you the link to that in the description of the video later on. Right now though, this information is strictly for educational purposes only. I like to inform to you guys that this is strictly uh, educational video and for those of you who are out there who already done this on my earlier video have to understand why you're going to get this again if you leave your automatic updates on it will come up again and say Microsoft is not genuine or this copy of Windows is not genuine so what you want to do is turn your automatic updates off once all the automatic updates are complete and download the driver genius prop uh, program and I'll give you, like I said, the link in the description of the video below. So what you want to do is go ahead and break out your Remove Mac program that you used before. And I'll also paste a link in the description of the video below on the location of this Remove Mac, which is a very small um, software uh, application in, in, in size, that is. So you go ahead and right-click on it and do a scan of the Remove Mac.exe. There's no threat found. Go ahead and run the Remove Mac. And if you have something like Avast, which I do, you can go ahead and open normally. Remember the software. And it'll take a few moments, but once it does come up, it will actually take care of the problem that says that this copy is not genuine. So let's give that a few moments. There it is. It's popping up. Let's go ahead and accept it. And, of course, you got your little box up there. Let's go ahead and bring that out. All right, here you go. You got the box and you got the side of this here that says this Windows is not genuine. Let's go ahead and remove the WAC. Click OK. And give it a few moments. Now, as it does it, what it's doing is it's actually ed editing the registry editor. And here comes the Avast again. Go ahead and allow any changes as normal and it will continue to understand that the program is making a change to your Windows 7. Now that may be also another reason why a lot of people out there are saying that their copy of Remove WAT did not work and that is because your firewall is not accepting it. So before actually running the software you want to make an exception for your firewall to accept the program called Remove WAT.exe. So as it's making its changes you'll continue to see the Windows Genuine. Once it is completed, you will have to restart your computer and start all over again. Make sure that the Remove WAD actually works properly. And as we see here, it has closed down the Remove WAD software. It's doing its thing as we speak right now. Let's go ahead and close this out. I will restart the computer and come back. Hey guys, welcome back. We have done the actual restart of the laptop here and I'm going to go ahead and go to computer, right click on it, well first click start, right click on computer, go to properties and you'll see as you also notice on the bottom right hand corner of the screen there is no more Windows 7 Genuine uh, stopping of the actual software which means it's saying that your copy is not Genuine that is now gone. Now what you want to do is if you continuously leave your automatic updates on you can do that but if that is something you choose to do you're gonna to have to continuously run the remove wax software after your updates complete. You know some computers you know the hardware is so new that's what's gonna happen you're gonna continuously get the Windows Genuine um, software pop up because your hardware is continuously trying to update or you can turn off your actual software, your Windows software, the automatic updates, and download, like I said, Driver Genius Pro, 
that will continuously update your hardware at your own uh, time whenever you decide to choose to do so instead of having the automatic updates do that as well the only thing that you'll be missing from the automatic updates will be the security patches which actually allow the Windows uh, Genuine software to pass through and that uh, causes that particular problem. So again, thank you very much for watching. I hope this helped you out on the other problems that you're having on the other computer systems that are not accepting the Windows Genuine Remove WAD software. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and comment and have a great day.